Hey man, stay safe world, you already know what's going on. We gotta talk about the situation with DJ Pat, AKA the alleged killer of Takeoff, man. He just made a million dollar bond to get out of jail. Someone who was unnamed and just goes by concerned citizen, put up $100,000, that 10% of that million dollar bond for him to get out of jail. Man, it's a crazy situation and many people are pointing at Jay Prince or Jay Prince Jr's family and being somewhat responsible for this type of situation we're gonna get into it right now and everything we know about this situation because it's super crazy man but before we do i'm gonna need y'all to like comment subscribe we're gonna run up this video man check out the merch too link in the description at staysafewell.com 20 40 off everything man so let's get it Ultimately, whenever someone makes bond and it's a huge ass amount, there's going to be some type of scrutiny in the media and questions being asked. But this is something I have not seen because this is a dude, DJ Pat, AKA Patrick Xavier Clark, who is just a DJ who was accused of shooting the shots that killed Takeoff. And at the time he was just like a DJ and he had a gun in one hand and a wine bottle in the other hand, allegedly that's what people were saying. So, you know, it's definitely kind of crazy and people were pointing fingers at Jay Prince or Jay Prince Jr. because he was an associate for, of them being in Houston and, you know, kind of putting it all together and saying that there's some foul play or something like that basically going on. But let's get into it. So Patrick Xavier Clark, the man charged with the murder of Migos member Takeoff is free after a concerned citizen secured a $1 million bond for the Houston DJ. On Thursday, January 5th, Patrick Clark's attorney, Letitia D. Quinoez, released the following statement to XXL regarding the recent news that her client is out on bail. Neither Patrick nor his family posted the bond in this case, the statement reads. A concerned citizen and family friend who believes in Patrick's innocence posted the bond for, on his behalf. The statement continues, like any other defendant, Patrick is a presumed to be innocent and has the right to bond. He has also an obligation to comply with the terms that the court has laid out. He intends to comply fully and will appear for proceedings whenever the court requires him to do so. We believe Patrick is innocent and at the appropriate time the evidence revealed that in the case. Patrick Clark, also known locally as DJ Pat, is one of the two men who have been charged and arrested in connection to takeoff being shot and killed on November 1st outside the 810 Billers and Bowl in Houston. The other suspect, Lil Cam, aka Cameron Joshua, has been charged with felony possession of a weapon. Clark is taken into custody exactly one month after takeoff's death on December 1st. His bond was initially set at $2 million. His attorney was able to successfully argue that the amount should be lowered to $1 million million in late December. A judge also reportedly granted Clark $5,000 to hire a pri private investigator. And then Clark paid the bond and was reportedly released yesterday. As part of his bond conditions, Clark will temporarily be monitored by GPS and have his passport confiscated. Man, this dude, this is a crazy revelation because number one, this dude was like caught on his phone searching if he was a takeoff murder suspect number one number two he was trying to leave the country at the time so the fact that they didn't fly, find him a flight risk is pretty crazy but regardless of that questions are definitely being asked specifically because the lawyer said neither patrick nor his family posted the bond in this case why would a just random concerned citizen just have a hundred thousand dollars lying around that they could spend it on someone else that they didn't necessarily even know that wasn't their family because i know if anyone that i know got arrested if their bond was that high on some crazy shit, the only person i can imagine putting up 100k for them like house collateral shit like that is a family member you know so it had to have been someone with a hundred thousand dollars at their disposal that they could just spend that and not really think about it man who else could really do that shit? That sounds like someone that we know, you know, Jay Prince, Jay Prince family. I feel like that statement is even crazy, like to even think about, because it's like, man, this dude was just on his live, Jay Prince Sr. was just on his live saying like people should, when people were commenting on his live saying take off and like they had something to do with take off, he was like, thank you for keeping that young brother's name out there you know keeping his name alive and shit like that brings joy to my heart to see the ones on here that keeping the brother take off name alive y'all keep on keeping his name alive only a true psycho would say some shit like that high key man it, it was i mean 
maybe it's the best thing to say if you're somewhat associated but it's like in every way that you could easily not look guilty for the situation you know they're making themselves look guilty for the situation it's like why are you going out of the way to do this shit like the concerned citizen shit the fucking flowers where they put a giant prince family name on there instead of putting takeoff's name like r.i.p takeoff or anything like that man like it seems like they're doing everything in their power to make themselves look sketchy like i, I don't even understand man seems like he's sending a message and bonding him out by saying a concerned citizen and that sounds like th something that he'd say does that not sound like some j prince vocabulary man like if it wasn't him then who was it you know like those are the only people that they saw on camera with guns and shit so it was pretty crazy people are saying that it was a hit or like he had something to do with it i mean it didn't seem like that before it seemed like a random act of violence but the more that this weird shit happens the more people are pretty justifiable in thinking so but hey let me know in the comments what y'all think about that shit real stay say shit you already know what's going on man make sure y'all like comment subscribe make sure y'all follow the channel too a large percentage of y'all that be watching this shit don't be following or subscribed so make sure y'all fucking do that man peace